Um, <clears throat> here's the final update on the galley. I put the uh, line tail blades on there. And um, I just flew it. It's 20 degrees here in, in uh, um, Ohio, but there's no wind. So, But uh, what I did was, uh, if you guys have been watching this, I put that ESC in there and I took this piece right here off and I was just gonna leave it like that well I decided to cut that piece and kind of make a post setup so now it's really rigid you know and um, it flies pretty good I gotta mess with the tail a little bit um, it seems to hold pretty good. Um, it needs to be tweaked a little bit. It don't wag really, so um, I might be getting some vibration. I don't know, but it flies good. I'm not gonna mess with it. It's too damn cold. But uh, yeah, it flies pretty good. Um, I'm using. Uh, I'll show you the batteries I'm using. Let me pause the video real quick. I'll be back in a second. Alright, <clears throat> here's the batteries I'm using. They're Zippy 2230Cs. They work pretty good. They're like 12 bucks on Hobby King. The only problem I have with this helicopter is you're supposed to be able to put straps in there, but uh, I can't get them in there and then slide this battery trick because it runs on this track. And there's not enough room because the straps here it makes it too wide to slide into the airframe of the helicopter so I just been putting um, I just put a whole strip of uh, velcro there and it it holds pretty good I mean you know it's not it's not gonna come off I mean at all so in the resistance of the uh, you know this rides kind of on the side of the airframe anyway so it kind of holds in place too but that's not a very good design in my eyes um, it the, the airframe needs to be a little wider to accommodate for uh, the straps but anyway overall I mean, guys, it's it flies really good man I mean pain in the ass to build I get it great <clears throat> flies great it's just so damn light I was flying it for I don't know five minutes I don't know what my head speed is it's pretty high and I was beating on it pretty good battery stays pretty cool um, you know that's that castle ice 50 or not castle ice 50 the castle uh, edge Phoenix edge 50 if I were you guys, I would definitely get the light version because that thing is too big. I didn't know how big it was. But, uh, I mean, I saw the specs online, but you can't really tell until you get it. And you look at it and you go, wow, that's way too big. <clears throat> um, overall, I mean, it seems to fly pretty good. And I was whoop. I was beating on it. It flies really good on 3S. I can imagine this thing's probably ballistic on 6S. But, um, yeah, so, flies good. But, uh, let me pause the video. I'll put the canopy on so you can see what it looks like with the canopy on. Alright. Well, there it is, guys. There's the final product. And like I said, guys, I do have some tweaking to do. But overall, this 450 is flies pretty good. It's just so light. I don't know. It just tracks good, flies good. Um It's a good kit. Was it worth it building it? Yeah, I do think so. It was worth building. I didn't like building it, but now that the way it flies, it flies really good. So, um, the only thing that I don't like is they could give you a little more room in that airframe. 
which kind of would defeat the purpose because then it would be heavy, but heavier, but it's just stuffed in there. Like I said, man, 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag, man. You know what I mean? But, uh, all right, guys. Um, I hope you guys had a good new year and, uh, you know, thanks for you guys. Thanks for your support and help guys. Um, you know, if you guys want to subscribe, cool. You know, if you don't, that's cool too. But, uh, you know, keep them up there. Keep them flying. So, all right, boys, take it easy.